Everything, bro. Just take me step by step. If you've never been, oh. you know what I'm saying? If you could close your eyes and walk in the screw house, mm-hmm. how is it going down when you when you put your taping together, when you're putting everything together? Well, for me, like I said, most of my tapes came at a spur of the moment. Yeah. If I planned the tape with screw, the only time I really planned the tape with screw is when I we used like I said, when he first started, we would just write the, the songs down. Give him the list because he was he was still staying in, in with his his father hmm. in some apartment, so Screw couldn't have all that company like that at the time. And what we would have to do is just write the songs on a piece of paper. Leave your list. Give him the list, and he'll say, "Hey, come pick up the tape." So that's those tapes were planned, but like tapes, other tapes would be like I come by Screw house or say if say if I just pick Screw up, and um, I'm finna drop him off and he finna go in there and listen to music or whatever. I get out going and listen to music and then if I'm like feeling a lot of the records that he's doing, I'd be like, Man, let's do let's record a tape. You know what I'm saying? And we'll record a tape, you know, and um that's kinda of pretty much how making a screw tape went. Yeah, yeah. For me. It was all that was almost never really planned. You, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like go by screw and screw. Or sometimes like if I came by screw house and like he was doing something or had something to say, if he was like dubbing tapes or something, he'll be like, Man, come Friday. And uh, and then we'll do the tape on a Friday or do the tape or he'll be like, Man, come Tuesday or whatever. If he told me to come back at another day because he was doing something, that's the only way the tape was really playing for me, you know, through my experience of making the screw tapes. Yeah, yeah. So man, you know, we was talking about the red and, you know, just the screw and everything. Like mm-hmm. talk a little bit about just the, the north side and the south side and just how much that played a part into uh the tapes because i mean that shit was heavy you know what i'm saying i mean it really didn't play a big part into the tapes but it was it was just oh well, it came across it was like it was a way of life yeah at that time like making screw tapes was a way of life the north side south side was a way of life drinking syrup that was a way of life it just all that stuff was balled into one it just came together i don't think any the, the music outweighed all that because yeah. in the initiative it was all about making the great tapes yeah you know what i'm saying I'm making the screw tapes whatever you want to call it but uh man that north side south side stuff really was a beef that got blown out of proportion because of the popularity of those tapes like people wouldn't even know about the north side south side stuff if it wasn't for the screw tapes because how it made it on the screw tapes is because how i'm telling you like when we made a screw tape nobody is thinking that this tape is supposed to surface the world so it's like you just going to your homeboy house and just keeping it real you just talking about what's experiencing in your life and yeah it had got to a point to where people weren't even experiencing the north side, south side, but they were talking about it on on the tape. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like some, you know, if you if your car never got stolen or something like that, you really didn't have no business even talking about the north side, south side because that's what it was. Hmm. You know, south side, we was serious about fixing our cars up. You know, and we would talk about that. If you listen to Screw Taste in the beginning. All we did was talking about, man, I'm coming down, riding foes. We talked about the slab, you know. And once the tapes got popular, the north side keyed in on coming and stealing the slab. I guess that was their thing on the north side, was stealing. You know, our <laughs> thing was hustling. I'm not talking about them. Yeah, or yeah, trying yeah, to, yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, just no, saying yeah, yeah. what's just real. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just yeah. saying what's real, you know. On the south side, we was all, we weren't thinking about stealing. Even though it was, it wasn't popular. You know, you're going to have people that do everything. Steal, sell drugs, kill, all everywhere. But the popular thing to do on the south side was to hustle and fix your slab up. That's what we, that what was popular for us. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you got people that do all kind of things, but I'm saying what was popular. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, like I say, you know, and I think our big problem was we, we kind of used to tell on ourselves because, we would talk about, I'm going, bam, to get the slab wash. Northside hit that tape. They already know, man. I'm going to go hang out in front of Bams and follow somebody home and steal that car. And that's pretty much how it went, man. You know what I'm saying? Bam was like a slab hub for the south side. So when we would go up there, not half of the time we would leave our cars up there. So we coming to pick our car up. We not knowing this dude been sitting across the churches waiting on me to come and get in my car 
you know, and I pull out my slab, he he follow me, and I don't even know he follow me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, that's how my, one of my brother's slabs that got stolen like that before, man. Leaving, bam, we go home. You know, we got the car blocked in everything, man. They still steal the car. We go pick the car from the north side. Wait, so how you know it'd be on the north side or something like that? I mean, when you call them and report the car stolen, and the police... Oh, then they would tell you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you know, yeah. back then, the police would tell you, come yeah. to where the car was. So, you know, you they, the police would be like, oh, we found a car over here. It's off of Rosewood, whatever the case may be. And we go pick the car. Damn. You know? Because back then, you had to clear a tow truck t- to tow your car. You know what I'm saying? A tow truck couldn't just come and pick your car up and take it to the record truck. Back then, you had to say, oh, man, it's totaled. Oh, man, it can't drive. I just tow it. You know what I'm saying? Because back then, if you had, like, say if your car got stolen and the tires was gone, if you come with some tires, you can take your car. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? The police, they're going to make that report that the car was stolen. You can drive. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, if the police see a car and they ain't got no wheels on them, they can call a tow truck and they gonna, you can go pick it up from the from record yard, right. you know what I'm saying? Right, That's right, how right. it is now, but back then it wasn't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, the, the the screw thing is going. You know what I'm saying? Who was the Who was the first person you heard to make another slow down tape? At, like once screw got going, because I mean it was other people. It wasn't. I don't think it. I don't think it was just watch. Like you had people uh, on the south side that did slow down yeah, tapes yeah, too, right? Yeah, yeah. I think Bone was the first one that. Um, I remember the first time. Um, and, and how how Bone had really came about because like i say it had got to a point where screw couldn't make a tape for everybody you know man he screw was popular man he like everybody couldn't get in there so like it was a lot of dudes that was messing with screw that ended up going to bone because screw couldn't couldn't do the tape that's frequent. So that's when, because this a part on there that you like, man, I'm going to get this nigga to do the tape and now nah, man. And that's, that's what that come from. That mm. come from people that i knew that was going to bone that originally fucked with screw. I mean, you had no choice but to originally fuck yeah. with screw because he was the one that he started. started. Yeah, yeah. But people, I, I don't know if it was like they didn't have the loyalty or they didn't have the patience. I don't know what their issue was with going to Bone. I didn't understand it, and I, that's their reason. Is that's fine with them? You know what I'm saying? But to me, I just wasn't with it, man. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, it was like. I had to keep it original, keeping it true. Not not even saying that my intentions was to keep it original then. I just was like, man, screw do my tapes. That's who going to do my tapes. I, I don't care about, you know, Larry Curley and Moe doing the tapes now. I, I You know, man, because I never had a difficult time getting a screw tape made because it wasn't just about making the tapes with screw. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, if I made the tape, it was just at the spur of the moment. Like, and most people, they had got to the point to where their intentions was to make a screw tape. And screw didn't really like that. Like, people were like, figuring, like, oh, that's the only reason you want to mess with me is to make a tape. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people don't figure out that's why I made so many screw tapes because I wasn't there for the tapes. You know what I'm saying? Screw my partner, man. Screw needed a ride to Jack in the Box. Screw needed a ride to sound waves, stick or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? I was there. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me and Screw, like, we did stuff outside of making the music together. So. Yeah. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.